a good morning to you folks it's a crisp one today i don't know what temperature the navigator's got us saying it is outside shoot i don't even see the little thing but it's cold this morning got the big red ram over here too loading up to 56 dodge 56 dodge has found a new home as much as i am indeed a mopar man i really wanted to keep this one all to myself it's not happening it's gonna go to a another home it's a 56 dodge coronet sedan this has the what was it the three three something red ram v8 it's the early hemi or early hemi design it's not a full hemi motor but they call it like a red ram hemi v8 that was in it and uh the heads were gone off the engine so my plan was i just figured we'd find a 318 or a 360. yeah what's up so That's where your gear shifter goes, right? There in that hole, it's a push button. Good looking old car. Tail fins on this thing are gorgeous. Plug you up a little bit. These Dodges, God, these are some good looking cars. Good looking cars. They used way more sheet metal on these Dodges. They were, uh, they were heavier cars too. But I've noticed typically when I find these Dodges like this, of this vintage, they're in really good shape. Even if they sat outside, they don't typically fall apart like the Chevrolets and the Fords of the era. So you can see the rocker channels super nice frame stupid nice floor pads stupid nice body mounts still nice transmission drives the bone these things just don't fall apart if this was a 56 chevrolet it would be crusty well i've got videos of 56 chevrolets so you can see a comparison for yourself these just typically held up fairly well what you think it's a beautiful piece of hot we were uh i was comparing it to chevrolets of the same era uh mopar, mopar in general used a lot more steel in their cars they were a whole lot heavier but then when you go to find a 70 year old dodge sitting somewhere they normally don't have quite as many bullet holes through them yeah. the rust hasn't taken it all yet very true very true this one right here was the Eddie Baia edition. Oh God, not the Eddie Baia. <laughs> Let it go. Smith Motor Company, Dodge Newberry Plus. How cool is that? How cool. What'd you say this one was going to? This was Ford. That's why I turned around. Morgington. Morganton. Did he say Morganton? Yeah. Oh. oh. Shoot. I'm glad he said something. I had the whole thing mixed up. So it's going to Morganton, North Carolina. So if you're out there and you're watching videos on 56 Dodges and you just bought one, you might have my car. How cool would that be? How cool would that be? All right. Yeah, there they are. Red Ram. And the oil bath air filter. And the intake manifold. Says. <laughs> Cold. Well, I got the wood stove burning at the shop. Right. I 
That's going to be a wrap. Okay. Well, we don't listen. Woo, we don't listen. Strap it down, load it up, navigator will head on out. And we will too. One more time. Warm now. Is it? <laughs> Cooking it on the hood. Yeah. Well, just got done. Ah. Oh. Well, we get a light. <laughs> bye bye, Birdie. Stick it on the intake till we get back. Yeah, put it on the defrost vents. Alright, guys, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.